video, I want to talk to you about Chanel bags. Which Chanel bags is right for you? Coming up. I don't know about you. When I purchased my very first Chanel bag, I have to decide whether I want to get a caviar or a lambskin. So when you decide buying a Chanel handbag, it's a lot of decisions that you have to make. First of all, like which style, what kind of leather, you know, the chain length and the color and the hardware and whether buying a brand new or a pre-love. So there are a lot of um, factors that you have to factor in uh, when you decide buying your very first Chanel handbag or your second or third. So today I want to give you a guide to buying a Chanel handbag and I wrote down a lot of tips and tricks so uh, I may look down my computer. So uh, first of all, you know, when you decide which handbag you want to get, a lot of people came out is like, okay, I want to get a class I want to get a you know the very very classic uh, flap you know like the one I have here okay the classic flap and then you want to decide what size what leather this is a caviar but you know what if you're getting a caviar you probably worry about uh, getting the lambskin scratched all over but however if you have a lambskin a classic flap let me tell you the look of it it just lot better than the caviar because it's such a luxurious look and I just absolutely love the lambskin that is why I went ahead bought a pre-love lambskin uh, and of course this is not really the classic flap but the look of it is really similar but we're gonna talk about that later so first of all you gotta decide whether caviar or lambskin or something else and also you want to decide whether you want to get a classic flap or you want to get a reissue or you want to get a seasonal handbag or you want to get a Chanel boy bag or even a Gabrielle bag so there are a lot of different styles and Maybe if you don't have a lot of budget, you can settle with a wallet on chain, which is a beautiful and very affordable um, Chanel startup handbag. However, before you decide everything, first of all, you think that, okay, the prices keep going up. It's going up. And if you are sitting here saving up your money trying to buy one, chances are before you save up enough, price increase again so that is why sometimes maybe you want to think about getting a pre-love instead like in fashion file because this is the one i got from fashion file first got this one from fashion file it cost me around a thousand dollars and at the time they don't charge taxes and until recently neiman marcus uh acquired fashion file and they started charging taxes so with this handbag I got a pre-love and of course I sent it to leather surgeon give it a spa treatment and when I received this one from uh, back from leather surgeon I just absolutely love it because it cost me less than 1500 and I was able to score myself a beige a uh, lamb skin uh, Chanel flap Although this is not classic, but this is almost like the uh, vintage piece. And I'm just very pleased with it. And also, if you don't have the budget, because like I said, a brand new, brand new classic flap like this, this is the medium large, costs probably $5,600 or more. I really don't keep up the pricing anymore because it's just very depressing when you're talking about you know Chanel pricing because they just keep going up faster than I can run all right so the next thing is you want to decide whether if you want a seasonal handbag because a seasonal handbag uh it's more maybe more affordable but at the same time the resale value may be lower however you also want to think about this whether you want to get a bag that you're gonna keep for many years to come or eventually you're gonna sell it every single time when I buy a handbag I don't ever uh, think about resale because I want to add it to my family my bag family but you know if you just want to enjoy the bag when it's very trendy when it's very fashionable you want to sell it later and then you definitely probably don't want to get a seasonal handbag unless you want to sell it before the trend die down so that is very important and another thing is chanel boy bag okay at the time when it first came out 
It was really, really popular, really, really popular. However, Sarah has uh, several, and then she sold it because boy bag is just not that practical. Okay, in my opinion, although I never own one, uh, but anyway, and the next handbag is Gabrielle. Let me tell you, uh, when Gabrielle first came out, uh, it started a controversy because the shape of the Gabrielle, uh, I don't have a Gabrielle here, so I cannot show you, but I'm insert a picture, and you guys all know it. It's like different sizes, whether small or medium or large. Sarah has three. If you haven't checked out the, her videos, I'm going to link it above. But Gabrielle is a such... For me, in my opinion, although I don't have one yet, um, I would love, I would definitely love to add that to my collection because I just feel like Gabrielle is the handbag uh, here to stay, okay? Because the Gabrielle, although people don't really like the, the bottom because the bottom, it just look like the, you know, the feminine product. But to me, it's just the more I look at it, the more it just really... Um, settle with me because i really just love the chain they have like total total how many chain total four different chains and different hardwares it just give you a different variation when you wear the handbag so i just feel like you know what gabrielle is something that i really really want to add to my collection one day okay so talk about wallet on the chain uh actually i had a wallet on a chain at one point, but I kept it for one week and I returned it because it just didn't work for me. Even though I'm a very minimalist, I still couldn't see myself using a wallet on a chain because, I mean, the bag won't do for me if my phone won't fit in the handbag. To me, wallet on chain is more like an SLG. It's like an expensive SLG. You can't really call it a handbag, in my opinion. But maybe for you, it work out for you. I don't know. First of all, you want to decide which style, you know, whether you want to go seasonal or you want to go the classic piece. And you want to decide which leather because, you know, you have caviar, uh, caviar has lamb skin, has aged calf skin, you know, like the Gabrielle, most of the Gabrielle is the aged calf skin. And do you like the aged calf skin look? I mean, that's something that you have to think about it because the aged uh, calf skin um, has available for the reissue and then also have it for uh, Gabrielle. And you know what? The calf skin actually is similar the durability to caviar, caviar, caviar caviar okay however i think the aged calf skin is a better looking than caviar because like i said okay this caviar looks really durable sturdy okay i can't even i don't even think i can scratch it okay but i just don't think this handbag look luxurious because it just doesn't look it look like a very rugged handbag i mean don't get me wrong even you have it for the next 10 20 years as long as you don't abuse it it's going to look very very beautiful just like brand new however i just thought that lamb skin it looks really super luxurious and the aged calf skin also looks very in between lamb skin and calf skin Please comment below if you disagree with me because this is just a forum. We talk about it. Everybody have different idea. Everybody just kind of share different opinions. So to make our community, Lux community even better. So yeah, so you know what? In the aged calf skin, it's meant to look very, very vintage. When you first purchased uh, a handbag is aged calf skin, you probably thought that, wow, white looks so you know old looking but that's just the way it is even that is why if you're buying a pre-love i think if you want to have an aged calfskin chanel you might go with you know pre-love of course you want to look for a better condition also you want to you know uh, think about the uh, chain length if you have a perfect model figure your height is like anywhere five three or taller you probably don't have that problem for me i'm only five feet tall so that chain length is a very very um important factor to me all right the next thing is hardware and color all right you want to decide whether lighter color or darker color or you always want to pick the safe color which is black to me 
I'm basically out of my comfort zone already. I don't want to just have a black bag. Um, and that's why I acquired this beige bag. And after I got two beige bags, which is this one and my Lady Dior, I want to branch out different color, like red, like blue, you know, my Fendi Peekaboo. I said it was the royal blue. I, I'm very happy with that color. Don't ever think that black bag is the safe color. It's not necessary because any color handbag, it will go well with any outfit. I'm not saying any, any 100%, but 85% of the time, you are able to pull it off. You, if you don't have any idea, you can just go to go on Pinterest and you know just gather some outfit idea and then you are able to do with any color handbag. All right, so the next thing is you want to see where the new or you want to buy pre-love. I mean, I have both because um, this one, this Chanel bag is brand new. I got it from the boutique. And I also have another Chanel bag that I want to show you guys, which is this one here. And this one is more of a seasonal piece. So if I decided to let go, uh, I don't know if I can get a lot of money like if I let my classic flap go. but. This is a really unique style, even though it's seasonal, and I really just like it. And I think this is calfskin. That's why it looks like aged. It looks like not brand new. However, this, uh, I have this handbag for several years now. This is from the 2018 collection, uh, but I don't really use it. I only use it less than five times. So I'm thinking about whether I need to let this handbag go and maybe put the money into a different handbag. You know, I don't know. Um, this is the one I got a brand new as well. However, once again, if you don't want to get one brand new, brand new, you can always get a pre love one, a really good condition from Fashion File. Okay, so we talk about whether purchase brand new or, you know, from a pre love market. It's your decision because you want to be smart. You want to make sure you go with a very reputable, um, uh, pre-love market like fashion file like the real real uh or even posh mosh but you want to do your homework before you actually purchase this handbag and the reason i love fashion file is because they give you 30 days you know return policy so you don't lose anything if you receive it you examine the handbag is not what they describe in the condition in the description you can simply just send it back as long as you don't cut the tag and i have the links in the description box if you want to check out any of their their uh you know pre-love uh items and let me tell you something uh since you know i've been working from home so long now i've been checking on fashion file almost every day and sometimes let me tell you sometimes you find things such a great deal and you don't even if those items is not even on your wish list and you can get a really really good price because you just have to take time to do your homework to look for it all right so the next thing is all right so since we're talking about chanel handbags and we're talking about well you know what i think the safest bet is to get a classic flap all right maybe i want a medium large maybe i want a jumbo i thought about it i fight my with myself that we're getting the jumbo or the medium large because uh, the price difference is only i think three four hundred dollars so i was still telling myself why not get a jumbo why do i get a medium large but because my body friend because my mom and my sister you know sarah kept telling me sis you don't want to get a bigger cake if you cannot swallow yeah that's how i describe that so that's why i settled with the medium large and let me tell you something that's the best decision i have ever made on him back yes because the medium large does look a lot better on my body friend but however even though i got that medium large uh when i got it, it was last year i remember if it's not last year it's the year before right after i got it the price went up immediately like I think a couple of weeks later. So I was like, lucky I got it, right? But it's just so, so crazy. And then when I look at, um, you know, all their collection, like, you know, with all the Chanel different handbag style, you know what? I started thinking, am I able to get a handbag similar to the classic flap? But it's a lot cheaper. But, you know, Chanel handbag, it's all pretty pricey. How you're gonna find one is a lot cheaper, but it's also give you the classic flap look. I found one, I found one. You may 
be disagreeing with me. However, let me make my case. All right, so now is that, okay, I'm going to show you. This is a classic flap, right? This is a classic flap. Okay. And this is my new Chanel Coco, right? Okay. So do you see the similarity of these two handbags? Okay. It's both flat bags. Okay. Both flat bags. Okay. However, the size is pretty, pretty comparable. The only difference is the shape. Okay. The only difference is the shape. And in the back has a back pocket and this hand Coco uh, Mini is also have a back pocket, right? Am I right? Okay. And another difference is the Coco Chanel handle has a handle on the top. This one, the classic flap, don't. But the differences between these two handbags, this one is 3,800 brand new plus tax. And this one currently maybe 5,600 plus tax. You see the differences? You see it's like almost $2,000 differences. Do you see a big difference that you're willing to pay $2,000 extra for a classic flap? Or with $3,800, you can settle with a Chanel Coco Handle Mini? Okay, that's the question that you need to answer in the comment below. Because for me, as soon as I saw this Chanel Coco Beanie, I thought, I told myself, this is a lot more versatile handbag than a classic flap. The reason is there is a handle, it's a removable chin strap. You can wear it and crook up your arm. You can cross body, you can handheld. But with the classic flap, you can only wear shoulder. You can't even wear cross body, can you? You probably could, but it depends how tall are you. So that is why, I mean, if you are looking for an alternative and you don't want to really carve out that, that kind of money for a classic flap, brand new, this is your alternative, seriously. And then I want to also show you, this is the mini and this is the small. I don't know, they changed the name of these handbags on their website. It used to call it Coco Chanel Handle, but now they call it a Chanel uh, Top Handle Flap. Okay, if you check on the website, they somehow take out this Coco, this word. I don't even know why. But you see the differences? I mean, I'm gonna insert some pictures so you will see. I'm only five foot tall. So between these two sizes, this is Sarah's and this is mine. So I said it was mini. And it really depends because you want to have different size of handbags. You don't always want to get the right size handbag for you. Because if you only have the handbag, oh, you know what? I'm gonna get a bag that enough for everything I carry with me every single day then all your handbag is one size. It's like, it does, does it really one size fits all? You tell me. Like, this is smaller. This is a bigger. Sarah is 5'8", so she settled with this handbag because this handbag is right size for her. But I think anybody who shorter than 5'8", or 5'7", I think this handbag is just perfect. And one thing I love about this handbag is the price. I mean, you just cannot beat this price. Although this handbag is not a classic line, but this handbag definitely is coming out year after years. Has beige, this one is chevron with the, um, you know, uh, rose gold, hardware and it's just so beautiful and you know Sarah's is this just quilted you know style so it's just different I mean for me I just thought that this one is such a great buy if you want me to choose one handbag from Chanel line I think Coco Chanel top handle is the best you can get for your money for a luxury brand like Chanel because the prices keep going up, especially for the classic. 
But Chanel Coco handle, the price is being very, very steady. So for the mini size, it's 3800 And for the small size like this, and remember mom recently got one, and hers is $4,000. For $200 extra, either $200 extra or $300 extra, you can get a bigger size. It's a lot bigger. Okay, so it's your choice which size to get. But like I said, if you are out about looking for to buy a Chanel handbag, you definitely definitely can check out this Coco top handle but let me tell you with the pricing brand new is 3800 of this size I would definitely go with brand new because on the secondary market pre-love market I have been monitoring it's all very very pricing the price is even cost more than the retail uh, you know the booty so what's the point I mean what's the point unless you can get one really really inexpensive but you also find out because the reason is so expensive at the secondary market because the demand so that is why this handbag will stay will be here for many many years to come it I I wouldn't call this as a seasonal handbag I mean I could be wrong but they may have seasonal color year after years but this is really I think it's the best alternative next to my classic flap okay so if you want to call it a seasonal handbag I would say this is a seasonal handbag because this is no comparable to my classic flap okay because the look of it is just totally different okay but the look of it of this is pretty comparable so you be the judge if you want to save yourself at least two thousand dollars for a Chanel hand for a Chanel handbag that's the way to go that's your alternative and I found it and I just absolutely loving it okay I hope this video will help you I'm um, making the decision buying your first Chanel handbag or your second or third because prices keep going up and it's almost get to the point that is it really worth it to buy one but to me I think it's absolutely worth every single penny for a Coco top handle Chanel handbag and I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you enjoy this video and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future video I really appreciate your time and I will see you guys in my next one bye